How's everybody doing today? This is Anthony from The Basement Reef. And if this is your first time tuning into our channel, we're a retail aquatic pet store and houseplant shop located in Columbia, Missouri. We sell all manner of an aquatic livestock, both saltwater and fresh, as well as a ton of cool tropical houseplants. And here on this channel, we talk about all things related to it. Today, we're here to set up a new tank for the store, but it needs to serve two purposes. We also travel to shows sometimes, like frag swaps, and when we do, this tank needs to be able to easily pack up and go with us. In the past, that's been a huge headache. So before our last frag swap in St. Louis last April, we hit up our friend Ben from Echo Aquarium Systems and described to him exactly what we wanted to see out of the frag tank, and so he built it for us. That's what you see right here. Today, we're finally gonna put it all together, and at the end of the video, load it up with some very special corals that we want to grow out. Echo makes most of their products out of marine PVC, and they're one of the only companies I know working with that material. In addition to having a really neat look, it's super lightweight, which is great for us. We need this thing to be portable. We asked for this tank with an overflow box, so we can slide it right to the back of our table while we're at shows. It should work great both here at the shop and when we're on the road. As far as where we're going to place it at the store, we have a really awesome part of our counter here that's perfectly braced for what we're doing. And the sump's going to fit right below it. So what about the sump? Well, it also comes from Ben, and it's this awesome 18x18 18 18 sump, complete with crash chamber, filter stock chamber, skimmer chamber, and return. But we'll be using the skimmer chamber as a refugium. It even has this nice window on the front. And like I said, it fits absolutely perfectly under our counter, right underneath the tank. This couldn't be better. We've lined up a few materials. Our return pump, a hose that fits it, these for the returns, and our bulkheads. We want to bring these with us to the store so that we can make sure everything fits. We don't want to get back with something that's incorrect for the tank. We very quickly located the half inch PVC, which not only is what we needed for our return, it also happens to fit right into this hose that we had. That's incredibly convenient. In addition, we picked up some lengths of PVC, some elbows, and most importantly, some threaded unions. This is going to be really important for breaking this tank down for shows and packing it back up. Now it's time to start thinking about exactly how we want to put this together. We're back at the store with all of our supplies, and the first step is definitely to dry fit this. You don't want to glue anything down to begin with because you want to make sure that everything fits how you imagine it. So what I'm going to do is just kind of mess around and see what I can come up with and see if I can get this all fit together how we want it. The first thing that you're going to see me do here is set the length of our return. After that, we're going to clip it right close to the bulkhead. This is where we're going to put our threaded union. Again, this is so that we can take this down easily for shows, and we want it to be close to the bulkhead so that nothing breaks when we're traveling. We do the same thing here for the returns. After that, it's just a matter of configuring the rest of our returns. We want these two to meet in the middle and be powered by one pump, so we do that with this T. I don't really want this part to be down this low, so we'll move it up. Again, we want a really clean look. We're bringing this thing to shows, and we need it to present well for our store. This is pretty close to what we were looking for. We have the threaded unions really close to the bulkheads, so it should present clean and break down easy. But we have one small problem. We didn't grab quite enough half inch PVC. So, another trip to the store. Now that we're back from our second trip to the hardware store, we're finally ready to finish what we started here. That's really my least favorite part of plumbing tanks, is how non-standard all of this stuff is. And it frequently takes far more than two trips to the hardware store to get it figured out. So if somebody out there wants to, you know, manufacture a line of tanks and pumps that also has standard fittings, the same size bulkheads on everything, and it's ready to go out of the box to connect straight to this PVC, I think that's something that would work out really well and go over incredibly in this hobby. Fortunately, that's not how it is though. So you're kind of on your own and it requires more than a little bit of thinking to figure out how each tank is gonna to go together. Now we'll finish putting this together and then we'll glue it. Now it's just a little bit more on our dry fit. It's not that hard though, just extending the length on these really. After that, it's time to start gluing. When it comes to gluing PVC, you need two things, primer and glue. You'll wanna put primer on both surfaces and glue on one and then push everything together snug and hold for a couple of seconds. Start at the top near your overflow, work your way down, move one piece at a time, making sure not to paint yourself into any corners. Sooner or later, you'll have the whole thing done. Now I'm just gonna let you guys watch me work for a little bit while I finish up. We wanted you to know that there were no camera tricks here and that this process is pretty quick once you have some practice. It's honestly not that bad at all.
Here is where I start connecting the return pump into the return plumbing that we built. Remember, the PVC fits really well into that hose that we have, but we want to push it in as far as we can for a snug fit. The worst thing that could happen would be if it popped off and started spraying water at a show. So let's make sure it doesn't. After that, we just glue a couple more pieces and we're really close to being done with the plumbing. Hopefully I didn't lose you guys on that time lapse there. But again, I wanted to make sure that you saw the whole process. Now that we're finishing up the plumbing and back, it's time to start thinking about the return plumbing up top. I couldn't quite find the right fittings for these today, but we can make do with what we have. Super glue will do nicely. I'm gonna use a whole lot of it to fill in any gaps on these threads, and then use some clamps to hold it into place while it dries. We'll apply a little bit of water from a spray bottle, just to help this start setting. And then, we're ready to start filling the tank. I'm not gonna lie, it's really exciting seeing this get filled with water. I've had it sitting empty around the shop for way, way too long. After the water hits the overflow, you can see it fall into our overflow box. This is where it's gonna travel down below, into our sump. Hopefully there's no leaks. To make sure, we want to give all of our plumbing a good look over, top to bottom. This looks pretty good. Nothing seems to be dripping onto the floor. As far as lighting for this tank, we're going to be using this Vipar Spectra LED. We use these around the shop, and corals really pop under them, so again, it works really well for shows. And they're cheap, so you can't beat that. For the sump, we added a grow light that we had around the store. This will work wonderfully for our refugium. And that was Chetomorph algae. It sucks up nitrates as it grows. Now, a couple of filter socks to keep everything nice and clear. And we're just about done, finally. Oh, one more thing. We'll put a nice piece of established live rock from our existing frag tank. This will give us a nice jump start and allow us to start stocking this thing today. So what are we stocking it with? Well, a couple of corals that I've had around the shop for quite some time. These are ones that I want to grow out and want to have available when we sell at Frag Swaps. It's kind of annoying to customers when I tell them that something's not for sale, so this will work out nicely all around. The first are these huge Discosoma mushrooms. They're kind of a brownish blue base with orange spots and these glittery blue stripes. They're insane. After that are VDM lookalikes. The colony is pretty slim after we use them in our Pico tank. Check out our last video for that. And these guys are a really good grower and a really good seller but their name isn't quite safe for our channel, so we'll leave it out. These purple rhodactus are huge, larger than a 50 cent piece, and they're truly, truly a deep purple. Really, really neat stuff. And finally, some rhodactus that we've had in for quite a while. These are similar to a bounce mushroom, but not quite. We're excited to see what happens if we really cook them under this new light. Now it's time to move the corals into the tank. All told, this whole project really only took us a couple hours today, so it's kind of a shame that I let it get pushed off for so long. Oh well, it's done now, right? We'll definitely have to do a follow-up video after things get settled in, and I'm sure we'll even add a few. And that takes us to the end of today's video. Let me tell you, it feels so good to have this up and running. Like we said earlier, we got this tank from Ben all the way back in April, so we've been itching to get it set up. There's just always been something better to be doing each day today was finally the day to do it. We obviously want to give a huge shout out today to Ben from Echo Aquarium Systems for building this tank, the sump that's under it, and lots of other sumps that we have in the store. If you're ever in need of a sump, look him up. He's awesome. We're excited to have this loaded up with some corals that we've been looking forward to growing out and ready to go at snap of a finger next time we're heading to a frag swap. So pay attention to our social media and maybe we'll be coming to a frag swap near you and you can see this thing in action. Until next time, thank you for watching. Please subscribe.